Just finishing up editing the uh, last bit of the Dodge City uh, when we went down to Dodge City Community College to their welding program. Great welding program. Uh, Justin, great, great teacher, great guy. Uh, trying to get these kids as put together as he can before they get sent out. Um, Liza's hanging out with me. <laughs> She's downstairs watching the Olympics right now. But great school. Uh, the the clip did get cut off kind of quick. I don't know what happened. It's a, oh, this episode we took we took all the students out. Uh, Justin had ground up a branch for us, and so I showed him how I marked out the middle of the hole, which was just a ground piece of rod that I sharpen. I just take like a bead rod, sharpen the end of it, and it marks almost a perfect hole. Uh, also. We take them out, I show them how to tack it up. I show them like kind of how to weld it together. I let a student that wants to come out and weld on it and, and practice on it, they, they had the opportunity to sit there and practice while I sat there and kind of was trying to help them. Don't know how much help I actually was, but uh, I mean, it, it was just awesome to get to sit there and kind of say, all right, here, you need to speed up. You need to slow down. You need to whip out a little farther. What like? try to critique them a little bit. I know that they have not spent a whole lot of time on like a, a generator, a gas powered or you know whatever. They had a, a 200D, uh, a Lincoln 200D that was sitting on a trailer that they were fired up and that's what they were running. So it was great. It was a ton of fun you guys. So don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. At the end of the video it just kind of shuts off so I apologize. But hey, um, Sometimes it happens. Camera gear is kind of hard to stay charged up all the freaking time. So anyways, we'll talk to you everybody later. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. Everybody, we'll talk to you later. See ya. This is the, the test of all tests. If you're going into process piping, the two inch super coupon is most generally what you're going to do. If you're going into the pipeline, this is the guy. This is the big test. This is actually turned upside down. Uh, once you tack this up, you turn this upside down, you start weld it into place. This right here scares most people because number one, they don't know how to use the blue book. On this particular branch right here, I, I have already laid this one out, already ground it up. If, it, if, if I was testing with this one, I would come back and I would doctor it up a little bit more for me. Because I, I, these ears are just a little bit, I don't know, I can split the gap and probably get it. But I'd probably want to fit it down tight because I want it perfect. He's done multiple. So, I'm going to allow him to uh, discuss it. Okay, this is like the mecca. Once you figure these out, they this is like a sure win. This, this is one of my favorite tests. My 60s, I hate 60s so bad. That offside. I'm not a left-handed welder, that's why I got my brother. Okay, just get your rod, sharpen the end of it. The template, I've never laid a hole out with a template, because um, if you mess it up, you can always make a hole bigger. It is freaking hard to make one smaller. So, all you do is just take this, make sure your stuff don't move around. Hey, that's your hole. That is almost the exact thing. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna cut on the inside of it, take your soapstone, trace it out so that you don't lose it. And then we're gonna cut this. Now it's better to be small. Cause you can take a cone rock to this and clean it all up. I want you to know how to do this. Get to where you can run that torch right every time you touch it. Now don't throw that away either. Cause that piece is gonna get welded right here in the top of here. And that's what your jack stand is gonna get welded to. We can flip it over. 
doing on this first pass when you run this up, you just get the flag knocked out of it, and then you're gonna set this back up on it. Figure out if you gotta take it down anywhere, or like if you just go ahead and grind this all smooth, you're gonna wish you had it. Okay, so we're gonna run from deck to deck. We're gonna run all of our main pieces first. Everything else is gonna tie you in later. Hurry up, King. Wait, now I'm just staying to the top edge of that and just letting the bottom reach down. So I have the reach right there a little. Okay, you see how you can't really have a keyhole right there? I would have turned it up right there, but... It's tough. Or either went back into it and try to get that puddle to come with you. But if that puddle isn't just wanting to just follow with you, it's either too hot, your bevel's too wide, something. So you don't want to just keep hammering into it. You'll make a mess. You right-handed. Anybody left-handed? Oh, lucky you. Nice. You can do that one. <laughs> Start right there and just weld it in and tie in this.